Assalamu alaikum and a very good day. I met through my lecturer, Dr. Sabri, and my fellow friends. Today, my name is Nura Kela Medaba Majid. I'm from Group 3 and I will be presenting on the export of Rambutan to the United States of America. So, this is my group members. We have Amirul Izwan Bahtiar, Fatih Nur Aini Zakwan, Mahalat Shumi Sundaram, and also Shahira Binti A. Ahmed. So, let us look into export requirement. This is based on USDA APHIS 2006. There are four requirements. Firstly, the farm. Second is the packaging. Third is transportation. And fourth is irradiation. So, for export requirement in the farm, so basically the farm needs to be registered with the Department of Agriculture or DOA. In Malaysia, it is known as Jabatan Pertanian. Not only that, the farm needs to pass several of these criteria. So let's look into the next slide. Oh, sorry. So there are five criteria. Firstly is the implementation of residual pesticides and heavy metal residue analysis on water, soil and fruit. Determination of quarantine pests and pesticides should not be treated. Permissible use of pesticides. Fruit harvesting at appropriate index to guarantee fruit quality. Rambutan is suitable for harvesting in its index when it reaches index 3 and 4. Separation of fruit for export to US from different fruit export destinations. This is essential because we want to avoid cross-contamination with other food products since we are going to export the fruit to a very, very far country and also since rambutan is not um, naturally occurring in, in the US so we might also export diseases so these are essential to be taken care of in the farm so next we look into the packaging requirement so firstly um, the packaging plant needs to be registered with MPPO um, and we will have a packaging plant known as Pusat Rawatan Export and Hasil Pertanian PRE it's situated at uh, Kuala Lumpur International Airport or KLIA and also this has to pass several packaging criteria let us look into that next slide so so in the packaging plan we only should accept fruits from registered farms which is in the first criteria here perform pre-grading of fruit to filter out pests listed by the usda fruits must be 100 percent free from quarantine non-target pests Perform washing and water blowing treatments on these fruits. Perform quality control where the fruit must be free from all pests. Packaging uses new, clean, and insect resistant boxes. Box sealing must meet the specification required by the USDA. Issue a phytosanitary certificate after inspection for at least 2% of the box. So, these are all the criteria needed in the packaging plan. Um, since Rambutan has a hard shell, but we are going to ship it to a place that is very far away. So we need to package it properly in a container perhaps and make sure there is no cross-contamination, no pests that we export as well to US. So. That is all for me. Now I will pass to Amir. Okay, thank you, Akila. So I'll be presenting this part, transportation. So criteria is needed uh, is that visual inspection need to be done through every space of the truck to ensure the truck is free from pests. The packaging must not be broken, must be in a good condition, no broken parts. Okay, if the, uh, make sure the seal is not open. Okay, no holes because this may encourage the pest to enter and contaminate the product, specifically the, the fruits. 
Okay, the truck also must be equipped with a cooling system. The, the temperature must be maintained at 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, this is to fulfill the requirements in order to secure the quality of the fruits prior exporting. Okay, the prohibition of unsealing the packaging during transportation. Uh, this is uh, every as all as we all know that every company comply this so yeah one seal it cannot be open until it is received by the buyers okay for irradiation the criteria needed are the company must be registered with NPPO NPPO uh, NPPO is a national plant protection organization okay in Malaysia, uh, for example, in Malaysia, we have a uh, Malaysian nuclear agency, so they must be registered with NPPO. Uh, this is uh, because this is to fulfill the requirements before exporting our product, the fruits to the states. Okay, so other than that, we have to, uh, they have to obtain accreditation from NPPO and USDA, of course after the uh, audit implementation okay the building must be insect proof okay they also need to run preliminary tests by using dosimeter dosimeter is a is a device that is used to measure the amount of energy deposited by ionizing radiation okay the dosimeter will show numbers okay how much uh, the radiation use how much uh, the uh, how much it emits okay uh, in a simple word the dose okay use okay and submit fruit dose mapping reports for verification all right other than that they need to prepare routine radiation treatment reports to ensure the minimum dose use must not be less than 400 gray <clears throat> okay, by it. Okay. Next, I'll be pass. I'll pass to the next person. Thank you. Okay, so as we all know, rambutan consists of high water content and prone to desiccation, which lead to an an appealing shrivel form. They also subsist susceptible to bacteria and fungi so there are several steps of post harvest management to prolong the shelf life of rambutan firstly is harvesting which the time for harvest varies with climate variety and intended use so to export rambutan to US it should be picked uh, when the body of fruit turns red and the spin turn, which is the hairy tissue is still green so the next step is infill handling the harvested fruit should be placed in plastic container to protect them during transportation in rugged terrain use banana leaf or newspaper to line into the container and to prevent root bruising and each container should be should not be excess, excessively loaded with produce fruit injury the harvested rambutan should not uh, exposed to direct sunlight and left on bare soil for long period to prevent wilting and contamination the third step is sorting the harvested rambutan for uniformity in size, shape and color. Remove the fruit with symptoms of disease, heavily bruised, discolored, decay and irregular shaped fruits. So the next is washing. Also must be conduct to remove the dirt the chemical residue and to provide free cooling effects to fruits uh, washing also uh, the washing water should be used to, uh, for a certain number of the uh, batch 
So the fifth step is drying for removal of excess water on the surface of fruits by using of a spinner machine. The machine speed must be controlled to avoid process to splinters. So the next step is grading, which is the usually carried out based on size, color, maturity, and presence free of disease, insect damage, and mechani mechanical injury. So the next package, the next step is packaging will be presented by Maha. Based on the article development rating, the PET and the polythene gave water with the PVC film that a patient compared with the uh, polythene plastic bag and the covered box. This is because the PET and the PPE plus PVC uh, can control the post hour changes such as the losses of freshness, soluble, solid, titrable acid, pH, vitamin C content, and the carbohydrate conversion during the storage period. Uh, based on the article, I found that uh, uh, I found that the PPE plus PVC and the PPT are more efficient compared with the rest of two uh, packages. So, for example, we can see over here the weight loss of the first number time. So, for the 16 day, the 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 number time still uh, fresh have still remain fresh as uh, packaging PET and PP plus PVC while the cover box and the plastic bag are less efficient. So same goes to the rest of the factors. Uh, PPE plus PVC are more efficient. Storage and transportation. For the storage uh, is limited due to the wilting, browning and blackening. Uh, if the skin uh, will, the shelf life is only for one or two days because it's due to the, uh, due to the decrease in the quality of the rambutan. So the fruit uh, should be kept at the uh, room temperature, so about 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, so it does not um, wilt and does not wilt. For the transportation, is immediately transported and distribute to the con to the various market after we have this. So uh, it does not uh, undergo the wastage. So properly arranged to allow the ventilation between the pulses. So if if the uh, fruit does not have the enough enough food uh, or ventilation, it may lead to the uh, damage to the skin and the transported at night. Uh, early in morning or late in the night. Okay, thank you, Maha. Now I will proceed to present on export rambutan to US. This is the first journal I choose. Uh, this journal is in Malay, titled as Pengexportan Buah Rambutan ke Amerika Syarikat Satu Reality, written by Ahmad Zainuri Muhammad Zomir, Zainul Osman Muhammad Sidik Osman. Ahsanul Khalikin Abdul Wahab Hassan Syam Rus Anita Ahmad Ramli Sofian Ibrahim Khairul Azfa Ramli dan Jamila Karim The next one is Current and Potential Trade in Horticulture Products Irradiated for Phytosanitary Purposes and also Phytosanitary Irradiation in Ports of Entry, a practical solution for developing countries. Both of this journal are written by Emilia Bustos Griffin, Guy J. Holman, Robert L. Griffin, written, published on 2012 and 2014 respectively. From this journal, I can conclude that the issues arise regarding export rambutan to U.S., are first rejection on usage of plastic plastic packaging material low density polyethylene due to some reason from USDA the second one upgrading process of irradiation treatment center to achieve status as insect proof facility the characteristic of insect proof building are 
double door, air curtain and loading dock boots at product loading area. Second is insect trap and the third one is all openings need to be covered with nets. And of course, in order to upgrade or construct a new irradiation facility, the primary challenge is the cost. And the last one, the social barrier continues to be concerned in the commerce of irradiated food. It is necessary to find strategies to overcome the fear of irradiated food for consumers to be to accept the irradiated food. That's all for from our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Any question?